Hello everyone. This is Sambhu from Cloud Tech. Hope you guys are doing well. I am also doing well. Today our agenda is AWS Route 53. And in this session, I will talk about how we can manage like uh, different kind of uh, services by using this Route 53. And for that, I will create one uh, like a uh, website, like uh, I will deploy one app server in the EC2 instance. And from that EC2 instance, how we can route to this Route 53, right? So basically to re re like uh, redirect to your request to one from the particular domain to a yeah, particular uh, a service or a particular app server, right? We can do it by using this Route 53. It's kind of DNS management service. And uh, if you are not in AWS, right? If you are in that, suppose in GoDaddy or some other uh, domain provider, right? There we used to manage, right? DNS, uh, namespace, all these things, right? Similar kind of, if you want everything in that cloud, like in your AWS, then you, we have here like Route 53. By using this, we can manage our all this uh, domain. Then, uh, Kind of different kind of records said how we can manage those things we can do by using this route 53. Okay, guys. So let's move on to that route 53. So for this today demo, I will show you two different things. One is like uh, how we can create a domain in that uh, AWS, and then I will show you like uh, uh, in the external domain, right? By using that GoDaddy or some other do uh, whichever domain provider you have domain, right? By using that domain, how we can configure or how we can configure the domain to this AWS Route 53. So that also I will display. OK, so let's uh, this is the Route 53 dashboard. So I have already hosted one zone here. So and uh, uh, this is the cloudtech.ltd. So this is my domain I have purchased from that uh, you know, this one GoDaddy. So first let me show you how we can create a domain here. So let me go to here. This is the domain registration. Basically, we can click here, click on domain registration. And guys, one point keep in mind this route 53 or this domain registration. It's not a fee actually. And if you are using three tier second, right? It won't be in that service. So it will be chargeable as per your users and as per your domain, how many domain you are managing, right? So this is the place you can go through this. this uh, where you can see like all the details, like how it is, how much we have to do and how that Amazon is charging to you, right? So that thing, it's details here. I will give this link to this video description. You can have a look at it. And uh, if you want more details about this three tires stuff, so I have already demonstrated in my previous subsequent video. So you can take a look. I will give that link to in this video description too, okay? So how we can register the domain? So let's select your domain, suppose cloudtech.org. So let's see first we need to search this domain is available or not. OK, so let's see. It's not available. So now it will give you some of the uh, like high, high like uh, some of the suggestion name. Like uh, if you want, you can take this kind of name and what could be the charges also it will be. So if you see here this pricing and this USD basically it's a one year charge. It's not a monthly this one. So in one year you have to pay like eleven dollar. If you select this one, right? Suppose I let me show you select this one, and this domain registration fees display for one year. You can, sorry, you can change this if you want more than one year. You can change. Let me go to the checkout page, and here we can check like different kind of ten up to ten years. We can select not more than ten years. We cannot keep the domain. Okay. Then if you want after ten years, then uh, that you have to renew the domain. And if you keep one year also, <laughs> sorry, you can renew this too also. Don't, okay. Here auto renew option is there, right? By using this auto renew, we can renew this domain. And if you don't want to, after one year, you don't want to renew this one, then you can uncheck this also and go to the next. Suppose I selected one year and here the details you have to fill like uh, your kind, uh, your all details, personal details, and then your mobile number and then street address. And then once you give everything right, so let me give suppose my personal use or if you have a company, you can give company. And last name if you want something. Okay, something like that and then email address if you want, you can give some email address and phone number since uh, what the extension of your country, right? If it is in USA, then give the one. And if you are in some other uh, country, then put as per your country uh, that uh, code you can put here and then give the phone number. Suppose my country is 91 and it's India, right? So let's select this one. And 
you can give all these details here uh, like uh, which country you are belong so let me select here so india and then zip code you can select some state also you can select something here okay and go to the next if you go to the next then it will be checkout paste you have to pay that payment option will come then you have to pay this amount okay and it will come to your bill so since i have already domain so i will not take this one again so let's move on to that route 53 again leave this okay now i don't have any domain go to the hosted zone <laughs> Once we have the domain, right? Then we have to host that hosted zone. We have to create the hosted zone. So this is the hosted zone. You have to give your domain name. So I have already purchased one domain from GoDaddy. So this is the domain name. Let me give this domain here. And you click here and description. You can give uh, demo around 53, something like that. Okay. Anything you can specify and you, if you want a private, then you have to specify your own VPC that if you select here, then you have to uh, choose your VPC, all these details and how to create the VPC all in my previous video. I have already demonstrated so you can take a look that. So let's go to the public one and then create hosted. So what is the domain content uppercase letter? Oh, sorry, or space here. Some space is taken. So Let's, it will not take any space and uppercase or detail. Okay, so let's create this. So once you create, right? So by default, there are two different services. One is name server and one is SOA. These two uh, simple, sam simple routing, right? It will create by default. Whenever you are creating hosted zone, right? It will create for you. But if you uh, just hit this one, then it won't be. We have to which uh, like uh, where you want to redirect your request, right? You have to create a record set first. And before that, since it is an external domain, right? So what we need to do for this particular uh, name, uh, name server, right? If you see, there are uh, four different uh, like uh, names, uh, name server details is there. So this is the default uh, name server details. So but whenever we are creating the domain here, right? so let me show you this uh, in this um, GoDaddy page. OK, so let's go to this. Uh, settings let's go to here we have to change basically in the dns settings right we have to change we have to put this all these details whatever for uh, this name server details is there right so that details basically we have to put here so let me, here if you click on dns right so by default whenever we are creating the domain right it will give some uh, domain record and if you click on name server so here this is the place we have to give our name server details right so since i have already one uh, in previous right so basically whenever you are putting this name server details right in this domain name to uh, uh, re redirect these two in aws right it will take some time actually since i am doing live session right i don't want to uh, so before this uh, session i have created one one more hosted zone so let me show you that With the same name same domain i have uh, here record set is four is there right so this hosted zone and if you see this name server details right so the first one and if you see if you search here maybe copy this and go to cloud text so let me show you so i have already created right but how we can change if you click here right you use the custom name server right if you click here then here it by default it will be go daddy on so if you select this one then you can add your name server basically once click add then you can select whatever you want to add okay so like this we can add once we add it will take minimum uh, 30 some time not 30 minutes there is no exact timing actually so it will take some time to redirect your uh, domain to this particular aws uh, name server details why because otherwise whenever you hit this uh, uh, this domain right it will default it will give you the go daddy some details okay so i have already put this record set so let me show you how you can create the record set also here so how we can create create record set there are two options the default domain name whatever we gave right so by using this here we can give that uh, either you can leave as it is blank and then select the IPv4 address and then 
either you can select here the IP address or here different kind of option also there. Routing to the IPv6 address and there are multiple options, right? So and CNM. Maybe in my subsequent video, CNM with alias, I will I will try to cover this session. If it is not possible with the CNM, then in my next subsequent video, I will cover this CNM with uh, maybe with S3. And this session maybe I will cover with uh, uh, like uh, uh, this uh, route 53 with EC2 instance. Okay, guys. So let's select this and since it is a EC2 instance, right? Okay, I have already created one EC2 instance. So let me and for this here, I have already created one elastic IP also in my previous subsequent video. So let me show you that. Go to the EC2 dashboard. Okay. So here, if you go to the elastic IP, so I have already created one elastic IP. This is the one I have. So what we can do in the route 53 step here, right? We can give this IP address. And then what we can do, we can TLS how much timing you want to keep. You can keep one minute, one hour, one day as per your requirement. And this routing policy here, multiple options. So it's a simple routing. Then there are geolocation based on your requirement, right? IP based multi valued answer, some different failover, different kind of thing there, right? Network latency, whatever you want. Based on your requirement, you can select. But for this demo, I will select only simple routing and then click on create. Once you click on create, right? So default that uh, this one is created, right? So let me show you. Yeah, this is the type is a type, right? And then one more. And if you want to see the status, you can click on here and you can see the status. Still, it is pending. So it will let's see. It will sometime it will take to come that in sync to ready to use. Actually, now it is came here. So let's go here again and then we can create one more record set. Uh, and I have already created an uh, issue to instance also. This is the issue to instance. I want to basically navigate to this route 53. So this is the up and running, right? So let me show you this. I have already deployed one app server here. So yeah, this is this application is running here, right? Welcome to the route 53 demo from Cloud Tech. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any video from this channel. Thanks. OK, so this is the application is running in my EC2 instance. So let's uh, go to this. Uh, route 53 again and then create one more record set here. OK, and here this time I will give like ABC some name here. I will give ABC or maybe we can give like a demo something like that. Anything you can give. OK, so let's keep here and then select that this this IP and then here we'll select on alias and then select this here. Uh, one option is alias another record in that hosted zone. So let's select this one and with this AW alias to S3 website endpoint, right? This I will demonstrate in my next subsequent video. Maybe if uh, in if we will do like alias with API gateway also in my sub next subsequent video. So today demo, let's select this alias to another record in the Hosted zone. OK, so let's select and by default it will select this uh, which region we are and then here. What we created just now, right? It will come here. We can select this one and then we can uh, select the routing policy. Let's keep a simple routing. OK. So yeah, it is going to create so we can check the status here now. So the still it is pending. Still it is pending. Will take some time to come here. So uh, how we can use alias, right? So that you, I hope that you guys got clear idea on that, and I hope you guys uh, got clear idea how we can register the domain, and then how we can host it the zone, and how we can create the record set, how we can navigate all the record set, okay, uh, to that uh, application, okay. So let's uh, go to here. So now this is the demo. Uh, this one is created and this one is created. Right? So let's select this one and hit in the browser. This site cannot be reachable. This site will take some time to come up and uh, and also this uh, whatever this uh, route 53 we created now, right? This uh, DNS, uh, this name server. I have not updated this all because. Uh, since it will take time to show you that uh, uh, it is really coming up or not. So for that, I have created one more uh, hosted zone here. So let me show you that. So come here. And select this or maybe you, if you want from record set, you can select this or if you click here directly, you can select this and you can paste in that 
browser. Let me show you that. See, if you now this is redirecting, right? So if you go to our actual IP address of that Elastic IP, right? So let me show you that too also. So go to the Elastic IP. And if you select this IP. Let's copy this IP address and go to here. Select enter. So this is how it is managed, right? This is the DNS uh, management, right? By using IP, how we can route to this particular uh, domain name, right? So either you can hit this by using IP, and if you hit the domain name, that also it will same page, it will display. So like this, we can manage, and uh, I hope this will help to you guys. And and if you have any doubt or any 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 struck you got, so you can put those your command in this video link in this comment section so that I will address in my next subsequent video. And in my next subsequent video, I will demonstrate like uh, how we can like now it is a easy to use, right? I will demonstrate like how we can create by using static web page like S3. OK, so this is how we can do. And once you register everything, then please keep uh, some time. Uh, or is it will take some time to come up. You can see, right? This is not it coming up. It will take some time to come up actually. OK, guys, so I hope this will helpful to you guys. And if you like, please do subscribe and share to support this channel. OK, guys, see you in my next video. Bye bye.